right here we have Nelson, aka M Dog. Now, first one I want to talk about is the classic tie clinch. They call it the tie clinch because the tie fighters use this a lot in their fights. Um, it's also called a full plumb for whatever reason. I can't find any good definition why. The point is that I've got two hands wrapped around his head and neck, and I want overlapping hands. This is partially coming from the fact that they fight with gloves, but it's something you want to do even with open hands. Now notice when I do this, my fingers are pointed up. I'm not here, because what that does is that flares out my elbow. I want my fingers up, which puts a tight pinch between my elbows and my forearms. So if Nelson were here, I want my hands up high on his head, overlapping like so. I want my elbows in, and the reason I want to be up high is so I have a long lever on his head to force his head downward. If I'm down here yanking on his neck and he doesn't want to be bent over, He's pretty sturdy, especially if you can keep a strong spine. If I can get a little bit of leverage up top here, it's easy to curl them under, which sets up for knees and whatnot. Now, in addition to the overlapping hands, you'll notice that I have elbows close to his chest and I pinch onto his neck, partially for discomfort and partially for the fact that I can control his movement with that alone, so that aids in the power. The last little piece I have is uh, in opposition of pulling with the hand and pushing with the elbow. So I try to sink my elbows into his chest muscles below the collarbones right here. So I'm here, I'm here, around the neck, and if he tries to lever up and try to keep his posture as I pull him down, all it does is pulls my elbows in harder, which is uncomfortable for him, gives me extra leverage, and also gives me an opportunity to push him around if I need to. So I can pull, push, I can turn, bring him around, wherever the head goes, the body follows. So this is really the ultimate control. If you want to start striking with knees and elbows, you can use it to throw them to the ground. When you use this control to manipulate people, you want to use your entire body rather than just the arm muscles to move them. And ideally you want to move them in two directions at once. What I mean by that is if I try to go sideways, it might work or you might be able to fight it, right? If I try to go straight down, it might work or you might be able to fight it. If I go sideways and down at the same time, it's a lot easier to bring them down to my level, which sets up for knees and eventually foot sweeps and so on.